Hello world, uh, my name is Vladimir and I'm a lead developer for InfiniSpan Admin Console. In this video we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to add and to remove server nodes from an InfiniSpan cluster operating in domain mode. Now recall that uh, InfiniSpan server has two main operational modes, standalone and domain mode. In domain mode we can use domain controller to issue management commands to host controller nodes. In this particular demo we'll be issuing commands to uh, spawn JVM instances running in Finispan server nodes and to remove server nodes, that is to shut down these JVM instances running in Finispan server nodes. Once again if you're not familiar with concepts like domain and host controllers refer to our previous introductory video or look up these terms in InfiniSpan or Wildfly documentation. Okay, so let's start uh, with the cluster screen listing all of the available um, clusters or so-called uh, server groups. We see that we have one uh, server group named uh, uh, cluster and uh, we also see that it's a running state, uh, is, um, the status is running, and it has one host, well, because I'm running it on my laptop, and it has two server nodes. If we uh, drill down into this uh, cluster, we are shown all server nodes that belong to that cluster, basically server uh, 1 and server 2. These two servers are running on a master um, host and uh, one server node, namely server one, is a coordinator and both of them are running on the local host interface. All right, so in order to add a new node, we just uh, click on this card that says add node and we fill out the uh, modal dialog where uh, we need a server name, so let's call it server3. And the, the only available host is uh, host uh, master. If we had multiple host controllers running on different machines, they would uh, uh, show up here. We put a port offset, let's just put some random number. If we need to put some JVM options, we can add them here. And we simply create uh, a new server node. We wait for a few moments for it to boot up while the JVM instance is spawned. And here is the uh, server 3 that we just created on the uh, master um, host. Okay, so in order to remove the node, we have to go um, to this particular node. We first have to uh, stop this node by invoking stop, confirming stopping, and after the node uh, has been stopped, we can invoke remove to remove this server node 3 from our cluster called cluster. All right, so we see cluster here, and the number of nodes is again 2, and if we go to the uh, cluster page, we see that only two server nodes are present. All right, we just demonstrated how to add and remove server nodes on any host that is uh, connected to this domain controller. And um, if you have any questions, leave, the, leave it in the comments. Thank you.